So guys, welcome to part two. I'm sorry how the other video ended. My camera was really getting out of battery. So yeah, let's continue where we left off. I really apologize for doing a two-part video. I know it's quite annoying, but I hope it was easy for you to find with the end screen um, replacement of annotations. So yeah, for part two, we're going to be doing the bottom jaw, putting the eye, neck, and possibly a little bit of Claire here. But yeah, let's just, well, this drawing is pretty much done. I really need to get a YouTube editor. I know it's quite annoying that YouTube got rid of the YouTube editor, so now we can't glue our videos together anymore. <clears throat> but yeah, most good video editors really cost a lot of money a month or something. But hopefully once I get enough revenue from my YouTube channel, which takes forever, by the way. I've had lots of people say, oh, do you make, how do you make money on YouTube? I say, oh, by putting ads on your videos <clears throat> or allowing YouTube to do it. But really, you don't make that much money at all unless you have a million subscribers or something. I've heard for every million views you get, you make around, I think, $2,000 or something. And I'm, I'm not even, like, half a million views yet in my entire channel at all. I really didn't start monetizing my channel till a few months ago, so I really haven't made that much money. And YouTube, I haven't gotten paid either. They won't, they don't pay you until you get a hundred dollars. So that's gonna take a while for me to get to a hundred. It is kinda nice to get a few, little bit of money from your YouTube channel. Helps motivate you. But yeah, once I get some money from my YouTube channel, I'll possibly buy a video editor so I can glue videos together. It was really annoying. I had I did this six part video this fall on the end scene from Jurassic World. But yeah, I know a lot of people, it's not a popular video at all because it's six parts and it's not nice to go through the trouble of clicking on six different videos. So with a video editor, it's nice to have a... To, you can glue videos together. So I can make a six-part video and make it... Just glue them all together. Make it a one-part video. Which is much more enjoyable to watch. I'll put some shady under this ridge. Here. Put some scales. To give it some more texture. Adding scales really will help your drawings look more realistic. The fastest way to make scales, just twirl your pencil around like this. But the more slow, accurate looking way is by making lots of ovals. Connecting. Like so. See, that's very good for the bottom jaw. We'll just have to continue a bit on the top jaw, put in the mouth here. Not the mouth, the eye. Put a round circle like that. It's looking at Claire through the through the glass of the gyrosphere. So put his eyelid in here. This dinosaur sadly gets killed by the volcano, but yeah, it didn't really look like it was going to do any harm at all. Like, I'm not sure if it could, um, they say that the gyrosphere is bulletproof, so the Dominus Rex does break it, but that's a super hyped up dinosaur. This is just a lowly Allosaurus, so I'm pretty sure the Allosaurus would not break them, and they're, they break the glass, and they are moving pretty fast in the, the gyrosphere. So they didn't really have anything to be afraid of from this Allosaurus. I'm probably going to title the video something like How to Draw a Mysteriosaurus or something. Parentheses, Allosaurus. It's hard to tell what people search when they're looking for a video. Like what, what would they put for looking for this video? How to draw a dinosaur X from Jurassic World trailer or something. I 
I know a lot of people did trailer reactions videos. I saw a bunch of those. Like so many different YouTube channels. They're like, oh, look at our trailer reaction. <laughs> I wonder if people like would do a movie reaction. But I guess that would, you could get like the copyright laws might not allow you to show a whole movie on your YouTube channel. I guess that would be considered as piracy or something like that. I know a lot of channels have like movie clips and stuff. So I might do something like that once the movie comes out. Like show you guys the clip and then I'll draw it or something. I really am hoping they might release a picture of the Indoraptor. I've seen a few online. But it's so hard to tell if it's actually official. Look, it looks like just someone did a digital drawing of a, dino a raptor, added some spikes, and said, oh, this is the Indoraptor, which is going to be the terror of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. But it's super hard to tell if it's uh, the official dinosaur, because like, the Jurassic World website hasn't released any images, really, of the the Indoraptor, but we do have, we can see what its teeth looks like, because you see like the director leaning, um, looking up at the thing, and you see the teeth, but they're very careful not to release anything about the Indoraptor, which is probably pretty good, it's not nice to have spoilers, I'm a, I, I'm highly against spoilers, I don't, I try not to see any spoilers before I see a movie. Because it really does spoil the movie. <laughs> so let's put the neck in here. This is looking very nice. Put some shading in here. It's got a lot of blood vessels and tendons here. Neck. It's funny how in the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies they really change the like they they, they usually have the adult characters in at least one or two movies. Or mostly two movies, like Alan Grant was in two movies. Um, Jeff Goldblum is going to be in three movies, I guess, now since the new Jurassic um, World's coming out. But the kids in the movies, like, they never get to show up in a new movie, except for, like, the first Jurassic Park kids showed up in The Lost World. But for a brief moment, they weren't really main characters at all. Yeah, like what what happened to Zack and Gray? Do you think they'll show up in the movie or something? I liked I never liked Gray at all. I was like the sloppy haired kid. But I liked Zack, he was okay. Very much a teenager. That's one of the reasons I like Zack from Jurassic World. <laughs> So yeah, right now we're gonna put in Claire, I guess. Make the neck a little longer here. We'll make a faint line because you really, your eyes aren't focused much on Claire but on the dinosaur. So we'll put in some folds of clothes here. Maybe a light. Bit of her neck here. So the neck goes up here, the ear is going to be right about there. Let's zoom in a bit. Because that's really what the reference image looks like. It cuts off mostly everything. She's got very high cheekbones.
of the shin. You guys really don't have to draw this part. <laughs> Put in some hair, I guess. So yeah, that's Claire from Jurassic World. Do a little bit of a better job here. You really don't want to see her, the side of her head. Some hair. See, I'm just going to zoom in on our dinosaur here. I hate when the ga camera gets out of focus. So, yeah, I'm going to actually erase these lines here. Because this is where we're going to sign your name and put the date. Also, I'm going to be doing a Christmas Eve special. Special drawing for Christmas. And I would love if you guys would comment below. Um, or you can comment on my Google Plus community what dinosaur drawing you'd like me to do <clears throat> for Christmas. So that's going to be a big deal. Last year it was the Mosasaurus, which is currently my most popular video. But hopefully we'll get something so good that it'll be even more popular than the Mosasaurus. <clears throat> so I'm looking forward to seeing that. See, so yeah, if you haven't checked out my channel, please do so. And subscribe, leave a like if you like this video. And I'll see you guys later. I'll be looking forward to drawing much more stuff from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So yeah, thanks for watching.